Okay, so before we start, what I've done is just copied down the diagram that we're given. And so we need to add some forces to this because we've got this uniform rod then AB of length 4A with mass 3M. So the first thing I'd want to do is get rid of that 4A, put the weight acting down in the middle here. This weight is 3MG. And so being a uniform rod then, this length is going to be 2A and the distance from here to B is also going to be 2A. I'll just leave that out for the moment. We're also told that at this point C there's another mass of 3M attached. So we've got the weight of that mass that's going to be 3MG acting down there as well. So 3MG Newtons, 3MG Newtons there and it acts at a distance x from a. So what we've got here then is that this distance going from here to b is also 2a. Let's just stick that in here now. Okay, there's that distance 2a. Now what other forces have we got acting on this rod a, b? We've got the tension we're told, let's just mark that in, we're told that the tension, I'm going to call it T, which is going to act this way, I'm going to call it T, and we're told it's 25 over 4 mg, so that's going to be also in newtons. There's also going to be a contact force at A. This rod here is just resting on this rough wall here. But at the moment, all I'm going to do is just put on some kind of wiggly line there, just saying that there's some kind of reaction there, R Newtons. I'm not sure which direction it acts, okay? So just by putting a wiggly line, it's not going to do any harm. Okay, well, there are all the forces acting on the rod AB. Now we've got to show that X is equal to 3A. And the only way we're going to do this really is to take moments about a particular point and it has to be A. It has to be A because I don't know what this contact force is acting at A. And because I don't know it and it acts through A, it's not going to enter the equation. And so that's our starting point. I'm going to take moments about A, taking clockwise as positive. So Let's start with the weight acting at C, 3mg, 3mg and its moment is going to be that force times the distance back to A, which is going to be X. So you've got 3mg X. Now we've got the weight here of the uniform rod, again 3mg, it wants to turn it about A in a clockwise sense, so that's going to be plus, and then you've got the weight 3mg, multiplied by the distance 2a, which is going to be 2a. Now the other force that we've got is the tension. But the tension acts at an angle to the rod AB. So we can think of splitting this into two components. One component will be perpendicular to the rod in that direction, and the other component will be along the rod. Now the one along the rod is going to have no effect because it passes through the point A. We're only interested in the moment of this component acting upwards. So to do that we're going to need an angle. And it can be either this angle or this angle here. We'll just mark it in as the angle theta say. Now this angle theta shows up here. It's alternate to these, this one over here because these two lines are parallel. And we can think of this as a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Let me just sketch it out over here. Okay, we've got this side is 3 units, 3A I know, but 3 units. This side was 4A, so 4 units. And by Pythagoras' theorem, this side's going to be 5 units. This is our angle theta up here. So when it comes to taking moments about A for the tension, we've got minus T cos theta. Because that component, minus T cos theta, 
wants to turn the rod in an anti-clockwise sense about A. So that's the force and now we need the distance which is going to be 4A back to A. So multiply that by 4A. So this is the resultant moment then on the uniform rod AB and because it's in equilibrium it must equal zero. Okay so it's just a simple case now of tidying this up to solve for x. Now we can put in our values we've got 3m gx here plus and this is going to be 6mg a and now we know that t is 25 over 4mg so we'll put that in as minus 25 over 4mg cosine of theta well if we come up here the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse so it's going to be three-fifths so just put three-fifths in for cos theta and then we multiply that with 4a and it equals zero now every term has an mg in it in fact it uh, has yes just an mg so we can cancel that out okay that one there that one there and there is there any other cancelling we can do? Yeah, I can see that we could cancel that one into there, 4 into 4. And we could cancel this 5, 5 into 5 goes 1, 5 into 25 goes 5 times. So what we have is 3x, so therefore 3x plus 6a. And for this one we've got minus 15a, minus 15a equals zero. So that leaves us with 3x equals and this is minus 9a so if I add 9a to both sides I get 3x equals 9a divide by 3 to both sides and you get what we had to prove x equaled 3a. Okay so I hope it's given you some idea now over that particular part of the question.